and talk about it. it was amazing to me how close stick as possible yeah, he did and so I was out there throwing for that now are it's... unbelievable this is in the air to shallow center Merrill dives and can't catch it off the glove as McCarthy gets to second safely what a nice effort by Jackson Mason. He can really motor and he dies for this ball. He just can't get it. But McCarthy, as we talked earlier, he can really fly and he always runs hard and he gets into second base barely. Look at him go. I mean, he just takes off every opportunity he can. He likes to showcase those legs here right now. Second time through. A one pitch is lined and caught by the shortstop. Perdomo flips back to first. Tried to get two, but back to first safely is Profar. Boy, Cronenworth was all over that. Just oh. hit a shot. And on the right side, fouled out to the catcher Moreno. His first time. Um, if you do it and not. The voice is the voice of Mike Winters, who joins us in the booth. This one is popped up. Shallow center, the shortstop Perdomo out there will make the catch for out number two. Play ball is baseball's global Walk youth initiative to Profar. Now it's the veteran Donovan Solano standing in and taking strike one. Potter is hitting in a little bit of a bad luck. That ball that Cronenworth hit was a line shot. Very easily could have put guys on first and third for Manny, but it was caught. On the ground to third base. Nice pick down there by Suarez who gets up and throws him out. Hey, Eugenio Suarez I'm down pitching. there at third. Um, just because I'm, I'm very diligent in the work I do. The guys, you know, if they ask and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm focused. Watch that you can maybe emulate a little bit or incorporate a little bit of their game. Are able to either, you know, continue what they've done over their career or 18 or whether it's going back to the second half of 22. And then just last year in, in Domo. But we kind of fell in a little bit of a trap until the rest of the reinforcements come back. But, um, yeah, we've we've done a solid job so far. we got to get on a little bit of a roll here. Zach Allen, thanks for joining us and uh, welcome back. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Zach Allen joining us from the dugout. Game tied, one to one. Please assist a runner running the bases, and if he does so, it's the following runner and turned him around and pushed him back. Can't do that. No, you cannot do that. No. You can yell and point and, and right. scream and everything. We're not having this conversation right. Right. because that would have fixed the whole problem. And the ground ball to short, right at Perdomo, who is there, and he fires to first. Another look at that play. You can see he kind of stumbled over that. He gets pushed to go back and re-tag. But watch the umpire. The umpire was on it. Yeah, the he whole was way. all over. He he had to see the runner. He recognized the runner missed home plate, and then his eyes went to see what happened and just happened to catch it's everything. It's going on all the time. So yeah. it, it, you know, just for the box, because the box doesn't care what he's doing. And <laughs> it's in that box. One two pitch to Kim. He reaches out and sends a soft liner to right field. In for a base hit, a two out knock for Hassan Kim. Third hit of the day for the Padres. Oh, what's an excellent cutter by Nelson. Off the plate away, fooled Kim, but to his credit, he keeps that bat in the zone long enough where he can make contact and just drops a little soft line drive to right field. Good hitting. Two down series for, against the Arizona Diamondbacks, and while he's been still, you almost have to keep June 20th. Comes, which is remarkably consistent, but now he's doing it earlier in the year. This is to short, and to second goes Perdomo to end the inning. We're through five in San Diego, Today. one to one. On Roku, as the Padres and Diamondbacks play along. Last handful of starts, and Ryan Nelson, you little where he has struck out three of the last four Diamondbacks. Top of the eye that they had last year. It's really been difficult. Payoff pitch. And a swing and a miss. Back goes flying. Ends up on top of the Padres dugout. Strikeout number eight for Dylan Cease. Five in a row retired by Cease. And here is Moreno. Strike zone. You start pitching. Like this is an off speed pitch, but most of the time he likes hitting the ball the other way. To short right at Ha Song Kim, who fires to first for out number two. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the officer, the commissioner of baseball, may not be reproduced. There you go. Yeah. You were saying earlier that uh, he. 
Little flare back a second and Kim goes out to the short lawn and center to make the catch that ends the top of the sixth inning. Top of the order coming up right for the now, San Diego. Vying for a National League wild card spot. And it is going to be wild, I think, this year. If you just take a look at the standings today, now we got a lot of baseball left. Of course, it's uh, July the 7th, but to the conversation, uh, really, you think about it, you, you're involving a lot of cities. You're talking about a trade deadline that's not all that far away. And a situation where there are so many teams that uh, you think about it, do you want to send the wrong message to your fan base by not doing anything or worse, selling as this is popped up left side? And Perdomo comes in from short to make the catch for the first out. And Mike Pomerantz along with us today. And Mike, it is a strange spot for a lot of these teams, and it's going to make the trade deadline very interesting. I think it really will. You're talking about each team with about maybe, say, 15, 16 games until that July 30th trade deadline. The Padres Cardinals are right there, but don't sleep on those Mets who seem to be hanging around. Of course, the Diamondbacks right there, and they know this scenario, as we've talked about throughout the ballgame, all too well. You just got to get in the dance. And the Giants are right there as well. But I do think because of these limited head to head matchups that we're seeing now. That it makes matchups like San Diego Arizona all the more important because you're playing teams at 13 times within your division as opposed to 19 a couple of years back. Remember last year Arizona won the season series seven to six. So even had the Padres end up tied with Arizona it would have gone to Arizona in that slot. But that's why each of these matchups, even though we're here in July, Don and Tom, it, I think, sends a message to these clubs. There is no room for error, even though the perception is there's a lot of baseball left to be played. I'm a little surprised by the amount of parity going on in the National League. Uh, just six of 15 teams in the National League are above 500, Mike. Yeah, I think that a lot rides on injury and health is what we're seeing, right? A, a lot of pitchers down in this league, a lot of frontline players, and we've talked about the injuries to Arizona situation and Fernando Tatis won, and Darvish out, and Musgrove as well. So yeah, parodies, teams are going to be shopping hard, and there's a lot, not a lot right now on the market. We're going to the seventh, tie to one.